Friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to another exciting and hilarious episode of Paradigm over here at Lost Time Gaming. I'm Devo, we're jumping back into the shoes of our titular character here. And uh, that being said, I once again forgot to plug my mouse in before I started recording, so it's already stuttering like a fool. I don't know why, it seems to only want to do that when I when I swear when I record games, so... There, now we got the boop boop loop and it's not going to do it ever again, so... We've been told that we need to prove that we are not a cop at the, the not a drug dealer mansion by bringing a cop's head as to show how hardcore we are. I, I, I don't know. It doesn't really make sense, but that's this whole game. So we've opened up a couple new places. We've got a uh, no, not Paradigm's room. Other outside Paradigm's room. No, that's not it either. There's a. The store, I think he said it was. We've got the junkyard. We've got the, the not a drug dealer's house. There it is, Paradigm Shop. And the Butt Observatory, I believe Paradigm called it uh, last episode. So let's go check out his shop first and foremost. Wow. Oh, jeez. Someone broke my door and window. Igorski, why do I even have you in here? You've been drinking again, haven't you? Ruff. God damn it, you're so hideously cute. I could never stay mad at you. Ruff. Looks like whoever broke in left a note at least. Courteous, courteous dick. <laughs> I look how he describes his dog as hideously cute, which I would have to agree with. I would agree with that wholeheartedly. That is my dog Gorski. He is the most beautiful dog in all of Kush. Mainly because he is only dog, but he is my dog. Ruff. Yeah, fair enough. I can't really uh, contest against that. Model X3300, wow, that's terrible. <laughs> Is that an Atari controller? Can I take that? I guess it could be handy. Nice, you never know, you have to game on the fly. It's always be like, oh no, we could game, but we don't have a controller. And you just whip one out of your back pocket and off you go, I guess. <laughs> Model X3300. This was the very first computer to be able to draw 32 by 32 pixel art and of course it became the first computer to draw 32 by 32 pixel notes yeah usually the a new <laughs> new advances in uh, media and mediums it's usually a uh, pornographic material follows shortly thereafter at least when the advent of like photos and stuff i uh, i don't i'm not much on uh so like painted nudity for enjoyment i don't know much about that but this blue thing keeps drawing my eye to it so let's look at it it's like it's staring into my soul that's what i'm saying you know that it's polite to take someone on a date before you start looking into their soul that's that's good advice actually <laughs> high rise building people used to live there then rats infested the place then mutated rats took over and then eventually the rent got too high and they had to leave too <laughs> uh, they gentrified the mutated rats out of the high rise. Oh man. Alright, let's look at the freezer. While I eat nothing but coffee and cereal, I occasionally treat myself to Pop Gymno frozen pops. Water flavor. Deliciously plain. Wait, wait, wait. Frozen pops, water flavor. You 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 mean ice? You you every once in a while you eat ice as opposed to coffee and cereal? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, the cone. Why why are both the and cone capitalized there? <laughs> it's a fine specimen of a traffic cone. I'm so cautious right now. Well, I mean, I guess it's doing its job then. Can we take that with us? Uh, damn it! You disgusting ball of flesh! I need that cone. Oh man, how can I stay mad at you? <laughs> okay. Ooh, bowl? Oh, I think I get in the... Bowl. Yeah. He consumes nothing but vodka these days. That's not healthy. Occasionally he's on poop if he is feeling fancy. <laughs> Wait, no. No, your diet cannot consist of poop and vodka and that's it. That's not right. That's not right. While Ligorski is my dog, he would more than likely destroy me if I took his ball. Oh, okay. I think, uh... I think what the game wants us to do here is to dump vodka into this 
dogs. Bull. <laughs> I say dog, you can't see it, but I definitely did the finger air quotes for that. Ikorski, lunch time. Big, big. You must not be hungry. Oh, wait. This vodka is only 40%. I need to make it stronger somehow. What? It's only, it's only 80 proof? That's. Gorski ain't gonna handle no 80 proof. Deck chair, that looks comfy. Ah, yes. My chair. Sitting is one of my favorite pastimes. Man, it seems like it seems like a million years ago when the highlight of your summer day would be just maxing and relaxing on one of these chairs. Let's listen to the radio, although uh don't play any music that I can't have on here. It's a radio that they managed to get working finally. Too bad there are only like three stations. One is a regular music station, the second is just hours upon hours of some neurotic guy narrating everything around him. Whoa now. The third is 24-7 advertisements. Let's check oh, out what's on God. the radio. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, uh... Chunch. So, this is day 412 of having my soul cursed and what? viewed into a radio station. What? <laughs> Did those Baba Yaga witches really have to curse me? All I did was park my car in their designated spot. Why are there even Baba Yaga witch parking spots? Our government is so stupid. <laughs> I mean, let's be realistic here. I think it's a gross misuse of public resources. We have Baba Yaga witch parking spaces, but not handicapped ones? What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> Why do they even drive? They literally can fly. They think just because they can curse people and shit, they can just do what they want? Like, here's an example. Just before I personally was cursed, they cursed and imbued my buddy's soul into my old car. Do you have any idea how weird that is? Sitting inside your friend? Okay, it was pretty fun for a while, I guess. Kind of felt like I was in an 80s TV show. Chased some bad guys, got to solve a few crimes. It was pretty cool, actually. But then later he kept asking me to shift gears when it wasn't even necessary. Like, all the time. He'd rev his engine up and go, Quick, Billy, grab my shaft and throttle it back and forth. That's right, slide me in and out of gear all night. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, all right, that's... Billy, don't tell Billy a thing. Grand Insurance is here to help. Ooh. We'll send a clone replacement to Grandma within one business day. She'll be baking cookies straight out the stasis box in no time. Just remember to clean the stasis liquid or uncontrollable bloodlust may occur. What? We'll guarantee a cookie cooking sweater knitting slave for years to come. Available at clonegrandma.com. Thanks, Grandma Insurance. What would we have done without you? What? <laughs> Gene Pierce's This Decade's Modern Musical Genius is about to drop his new, most anticipated album. Of 2026. Our love is drifting apart. Here's a small sample. No, no, gee. Mm, amazing. How does one duck contain so much talent? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this Sunday at the Motorplex, fighting icon. We bring back the clones of icons throughout history and answer the age-old question. Who would win in a fistfight between Abraham Lincoln and Gandhi? Hitler and Joy the Kangaroo? Beethoven what? and Biggie Smalls? This Sunday, 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 Sunday. Do you find it close to impossible to get up to exercise? Sweat no more. Fantastic Fitness will remove your whole body so you never have to worry about nutrition and weight loss ever again. Apply now for a 30-day money-back guarantee. That doesn't, that sounds like they kill you. Hello, I'm Lilian, your local Baba Yagavich, offering my services on the weekend half price. Neighbors on your nerves, I'll curse them. Half price. Can't find a home. Husband or wife by morally questionable but romantic love potions. Half price. Hate your husband by erectile dysfunction potion. What? Half price. Call 05898 4981 for a price today. 
Oh, that, that doesn't sound good. That does not sound good. Whoa, 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 welcome! This is Advertisement Radio, where we play advertisements all day, every day, from around the world. From around the world! A world where you spend every last cent of your savings, and then your wife leaves you, taking your dog, taking your favorite hat, taking your hemorrhoid donut cushion, what? and leaving you to heat up a can of beans with your butane lighter, and then you're left staring at your blank wall because your TV was taken too. Haha, <laughs> enough about me! Let's get into the advertisement! I think we just got one left Hey there, here. Billy. Do you like video games? Yeah! Do you like gross amounts of virtual violence? Yeah! Yeah! Do you, you like doing taxis? What? I'm 11 years old, mister. Well, then you'll love our new game from Mega Bro. The company that brought you such hits as Boosting Thugs, Zeldario Zany Man Exo, Introducing Tax Evasion, the game. the game! Play is a multi-dimensional <laughs> company with fun gameplay such as threaten or bribe government officials, choose which offshore countries to put your profits, recruit a dream team of lawyers, find and silence whistleblowers. Whoa, cool! Available <laughs> March 4th, 2025. Wow. All right, and we don't oh, need no. regulars. No, 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 it's, it's, it's okay. No, shut it off. All right. Yep, well, that's lovely. I'm glad we listened to that for like eight minutes straight. <laughs> I, think I'll, I think I'll extend this episode a little bit today because I wasn't going to, but then I figured why not. Um, let's look at Paradigm's EP. It was a dark time oh. trying to pay the bills. No. I try not to think about it. No. Ooh, pure ethanol, all right. It's paint thinner mixed with pure ethanol. Oh, jeez. Great for running my backup generator. Also great if you want to go blind and vomit profusely. Yeah. For that reason, I installed the child cap to ward off future vagabonds. Nothing, nothing screams protection than putting a child safety cap on a thing of pure ethanol. <laughs> I think we should, paint uh... Paint thinner mixed with ethanol. Essential... We're gonna we're gonna pick that up, and I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna mix the the ethanol into the vodka bowl. <laughs> Before doing this, I do not recommend drinking paint thinner. Don't do it unless, of course, you have a stomach of horrifying mutant dog. I guess there's an asterisk. Found. Yeah. Oh, that's Igarski, lunch time. It's just liquid poison. <laughs> Was that vodka with paint thinner and ethanol? Delicious! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I hope I didn't give him too much. Just... Gorski, are you okay? Oh, no! Okay, <laughs> tail's wagging. Good dog. <laughs> like the dog hit the ball and just flatlined, but the totally not tipsy of Gorski. <laughs> now let's pick up the cone while we're here. We're gonna, we're gonna need that, I feel. I guess we're not here for Paradigm's EP. Let's look at the generator. That's my backup generator that powers the caravan. I rigged it up so instead of noise, it makes some death metal tunes. Nice. Yeah. Brutal. Brutal indeed. I wish all generators did that. Instead of just loud combustion engine explosions, it was just... Death metal. <laughs> Let's see if we uh, actually we're not gonna do anything with it, but can I then take there will be none left for my fans to buy. Oh no. I am uh, I am not very good at lying. You're not. Neither am I. Neither am I. When I play games with uh with like moral choice systems like a mass effect or something along those lines, I ha I struggle to pick the bad or evil decisions. I really do. It's just it it can it conflicts me very very much so. Anyway, it's the transcript from the advertisement radio station. I was hoping to get some dope audio samples from it, but mostly it was more procrastination. Yeah, I've been there. No, we did that already. I'm good. All right, let's look at the caravan itself now. Yeah, I got a pretty good deal. This was half price because it belonged to a meth cook. Not because it was a meth lab or anything. He was just terrible at negotiation. Nice. 
<laughs> Note left by the dick in its capitalized. Why? What a nice asshole. <laughs> he left me a note. Hello, proprietor of computers for sale. I'm looking for an individual named Paradigm. He is hideous. You might know him. While knocking on your door, I accidentally slipped and broke through your door. <laughs> I then accidentally searched everything inside. My mobile is broken, so I will come back to contact you. Sorry about the door. I tried to fix it. I attached this clip art of a cool son to say sorry. Aqua, Dupagenetics henchman. And there is a clip art of a cool son. So that was the nicest we trashed your place looking for you I've ever seen, I think. Alright, well, can I... Hey, I bet you're a deluxe model. What? Nice. <laughs> he says that to... Oh, pick up the door. <laughs> He's, like, flirting with the door. I'm already using it for insurance fraud. Uh, I... I mean... Uh, I have no idea where my caravan disappeared to. Ah. Uh, this is a new one. Sounds about right. All right. I think that's everything here. Let's just, now that I've been thorough here, let's... Well, let's see if we can use this, because we looked at it, but I don't think we tried I using it. I don't really need any water-flavored Pubgymno frozen pups right now. Ice! Paradigm, it's called ice. All right, let's look at the tumor here. Yeah, the tumor tells us we are all good, I believe. Yeah, because that's nothing now. Yes. The tumor has given us the clearance to leave now. Good, okay, so that's this place. And, um... Like most things in this game, it was disturbing. Now, we got the junkyard. I guess that's the closest thing. What? What? <laughs> Paper airplane just hit me in the wow. tumor. Oh wow, it's an incredibly rare Eastern European paper airplane bird out in the wild. This is truly a magical moment to behold. It looks like it uh, has some sort of message for me. Okay, can we use that? Sorry paper airplane bird, I had to open you up. Two Paradigm, your life is in medium rare danger. Someone is after you, we are organizing your rescue. Hold tight. P-A-G-S-T, Rebels. P.S. Can you give me some critiques on my vague warning messages skills at Fight Club Best Movie at AOL.com? <laughs> I'm an unpaid intern at the P-A-G-S-T, Rebels, trying to go full-time Rebel. Much appreciated. And you know, the, I, I assume the game made this an AOL email address to be funny, but I actually, uh, one of my very good friends actually still has an AOL email address. <laughs> so, it's not as ridiculous as it sounds. Okay. Anyway, so we're in danger. If I hold it too long, its mother won't take it back into the nest. It's, I bet you not. It's not a real bird, Paranine. What is wrong with you? English police hat? It's one of those terrible plastic policeman dress-up helmets. The great thing with these, all you need to do is wear nothing but the helmet, and you've got yourself a sexy police costume. Be wary of real policemen if you decide to go this route. Well, I guess you've got a point there. Can we, can we oh, take it? Yes. Oh, yes. I'm gonna have the sexiest police costume. I, I guess, man, I guess. I, I'm, I'm aware of this, I'm just, I'm ignoring it till we look at some of this other stuff. Oh, and the, there's a used syringe there, let's take a look at that. A used needle. Neat. They are like the lucky dip for diseases. <laughs> Why? Can we take that? I'm sure it might be handy to contract a life-threatening disease, but to be honest, I think it would just weigh me down. <laughs> so no, we can't, we can't do that. Hey. That's my washing machine. Rest in peace, little guy. You slayed a many a coffee stain. Shh, 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 shh. You're in a better place now. What? <laughs> Whispering sweet nothings to his busted wash machine. Mannequin arm? Gross, but let's take it. If it was a cyborg arm, yes. I would pick it up. Oh, so it's just... I wish my arm fell off. I would totally replace it with a cyborg arm. Agreed. Yeah. I'm right on board with that as well. Wig-wearing mannequin. 
it appears to be a man that oh, no. Get away from me, you mutant freak! Step away from my wife! Ah, yes. When I thought he couldn't get any wither, there we are. Oh no, that's his wife! <laughs> I like the poorly drawn face on it. Alright, well, oh, I was wondering how this is blowing, but there's clearly a plastic fan here. Cutting edge special effects. Impressive. In all honesty, if I owned the cape, I would probably do the same thing every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, I guess I can't I can't contest that. Let's uh let's talk to the cone. <laughs> Hello, strange cone guy who I have so far successfully avoided talking to. Hello, non cone based humanoid. <laughs> it's just a dude with a cone on his head. Uh, who are you again? I am the cone. Trademark. trademark. Do you really <laughs> trademark it? Yes. Originally, I was cone underscore sexy underscore babe 69. But the original died ironically in a traffic accident. God bless his cone soul. Cone soul? Yeah, isn't that cone crushing your face? Isn't that cone crushing your face? The cone and I live as a symbiotic being, the sum of our parts stronger than any individual. Just like two cop partners starring in an 80s action slash comedy slash drama slash epic TV show. Also, yes, it is horribly painful. <laughs> What's your origin story? My mother was a cone. I don't think that's physically possible, but uh, go on. It was a forbidden relationship. Needless to say, she was a terrible mother because of her lack of limbs. But I love her all the same. I also have a crippling, crippling fear of letter drivers. Eh, yeah, makes sense. Thanks. You know, you've made some strange life decisions when you tell somebody your mother was a cone. <laughs> I really need your mannequin. Can I please have it? What mannequin? That one over there. All I see is my wife. <laughs> so in the contract, man. Damn it. This is going to be harder than I expected. What's in the bum bag? Justice. Seriously though, it's just a fashion accessory. He's on deep in real zips. What is your weakness? Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll go around telling people my weaknesses all the time. I'll tell you my weakness when cones fly. <laughs> uh. He's a funny guy, isn't he, Rolla Manisha? Not as funny or handsome as you, though, the cone trademarked. I love you, darling. Me too, he he he. So, you're saying, if I want to take your mannequin, um wife's head, I would have to take advantage of your only weakness, flying cones. Have you considered having some other weakness? Maybe checkers? <laughs> I'm pretty good at checkers, and it could be a very exciting minigame. What? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Laters. Goodbye, my non-cone friend. So, man with a traffic cone on his head, we have to somehow hit him with a cone that's flying. Wait, why does this cone have a name? Jimad's the cone. Hello, cone. You are looking awfully cautious today. What? I don't really need to stop any traffic today. However, a cone would be useful. I just can't take this one because the cone trademark might beat me. Well, can I... I have a cone and what is a cross between a rocket and I believe a sex toy. Can I... Everyone uses that line, it's not rocket science. I've always wondered how it must feel for actual rocket scientists, you know? How many have broken down emotionally from hearing that joke so many times at dinner parties? Oh, that actually worked. I was actually going to say that joke's great and everything. I also like... They use it uh, ironically or sarcastically in, what is it, Robocop 2, where the guy goes to hold up the diner and, like, demands all the money out of the register and the diner's full of cops. And, like, the guy working the register just, like, looks at him. He's like, what's it like to be a rocket scientist? 
We'll love that. All right, so... So I just hit him with it now, I guess? Just... I better do it a uh, much further away so he can't violently murder me. At least not in his junkyard. Ah, okay. I'm not sure where we're gonna do that, but... Let's check out the room, I guess. Oh, I can't. There is an old crush proverb. Never enter the home of a man who wears no pants. It's good advice. Good advice. That's that's that is solid life advice right there. Don't just don't do in it. No, honestly, if I own the I no, would... we did that one already. Um, the laughably large cone. I was thinking about that one. One cone to caution them all. Yeah, sure. How about this crane? Can we use this crane? You would think this would be the solution to get rid of the cone, especially with the crane hanging conveniently over him. It is. But it is most definitely not. It is not the solution, okay. I find a lot of computer parts for my shop here, but mostly I find self-loathing. <laughs> I know how that goes. hey -o. Come on, busty car. It's the only car left in Krush. There used to be more, and people got hoverboards. Then people got the radiation sickness. <laughs> people don't ride hoverboards anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, so we've got everything we need, I believe. And I can't take this. It looks like I should take this, but... If it was a cyborg arm, yes, I But no, no, we can't, we cannot take that. How about look at the billboard that says Prodigy Child on it? That sign creeps me the hell out. Somehow, I know it's got to do with my past, but I blocked it out mostly with fat beasties and vodka. Uh, ominous. Also, yeah, I'm sure lots of people have done that. All right, so that seems like everything we could do here at the junkyard for the time being. A lot of, a lot of red herrings here, a lot of things that seem like we should be able to pick them up but can't. So we've got one more place to visit, I believe. Because I believe we got everything else done here. Let's go to the butt observatory, which is literally a butt with the word cruise written up up underneath it. That's John 3000. Hey, mate. It's me, John 3000. I managed to form the connect to your headset again. Someone blocked me out last time. Weird. Heh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Anyway, been tuning this new bird. She wants me, hey. <laughs> Check out this soundboard. She's like my super bonds are hot. Oh, that's that's takes that takes me back. That takes me way back. Dial up Bowerdoms. What a what a terrible time to be alive. Sweaty, just listening to it. <laughs> oh. Can you please leave me alone? Yeah, right. Just to be clear, if you don't get this floppy soon, the station is gonna melt down real soon. How Everyone soon? will blame you for millions of deaths for centuries to come. What? No biggie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's, uh... Oh, that's not good. What? That should not be too late. Uh-oh. I had so many biddies to cyber with. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye, Paradigm. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh. oh! Oh, Paradigm, so bad. you are out of there. Oh. I can do this. oh, God, what just happened? Oh, just a little bit of hopper visual simulation I implanted into your brain via sound waves. What? Just wanted to emphasize this destroying the world thing, since I would die as well. Not too keen on dying. I feel an email would have been more appropriate. <laughs> yeah, well, boy. What? John 3000? You, you suck. You are hilarious, but you are also terrible. Ah, graffiti. Let's look at that. Is that Morty? So hard hitting and truthful. It's made me rethink all my motivations. I can't wait to forget this in a few minutes. Yeah. Is this is this Morty from Rick and Morty wearing like a weird hat? Uh, I don't know. I guess it could be an old guy with like a handlebar mustache and a weird hat. I guess we all see what we want to see. Butt stains. Why? Why is there butt stains? And then there's a sign that says don't touch right above the butt stains. And there's handprints on the butt stains. 
I, I'm really upset I had to say any of that. <laughs> it is said touching the butt gives you good luck. Mostly it makes your hand smell weird from all the other people touching it. Yeah, that's usually how those things go. That's why you don't... That's why you don't touch them. I guess the speaker, we're just gonna ignore that. The band-aid, let's look at that. I like there was a guy out there somewhere who thought oversized band-aids was a good business plan. Yeah, right? Ooh, there's a plaque. Historical. Welcome to Krush Bat Observatory. It was commissioned during the neo lukewarm War as a representation of Neo-Soviet Union strength. However, in secret, it was used as a cover for a missile silo, primarily to thwart any spy's credibility. Upon telling their governments that the large genital sculptures were nuclear weapon facilities, they were laughed out of the service, allowing the Neo-Soviet Union to have the best missile offensive at the time. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Uh, that's, that's quite the ploy. But I don't know if that would actually work in reality. Great access for the Setsu Saitos. Setsu Saitos being the local base jumping group. Oh, okay. I was just going to say, like, wow, Paradigm, that's a bit harsh. Ooh, nice. Binoculars. Turns out repairing magnification glasses is expensive. <laughs> Although, I must say I'm impressed by this artist's rendition. <laughs> it's just a drawing tape to the aisles. <laughs> That's not how binoculars work. Oh, man. And I'm gonna guess this launch pad models will reset the sex toy slash rocket slash traffic cone. Cute. It is a little model launch pad of the bloody Krushkinov launch tragedy. Neat. Okay. Can I... Can I, can I use this here? Uh-oh. Is there something inherently wrong launching something that the con has psychologically personified into ultimate destruction, then ripping the head off his wife to trick a drug dealer into thinking I murdered a police officer? <laughs> Most people would say yes. Yes. They probably would be right. They would be right, yes. But here it goes. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, oh. Oh, wee Take that, cone! Next time you'll let me just rip your wife's head off. <laughs> Is that a Koyanis Katsi ripoff? Oh my god. I am the code. 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 Oh no. So <laughs> why is it on fire? <laughs> oh no. What's it gonna do? So also, why is it on fire? Hey, what the hell is that? No, 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 Wait, so it was just, we just see the image and like the cone runs off and that's it? Okay. Oh, I don't like that the hand, the hand changes to a finger pointing when you move it closer to the butt crack. I can't believe I had to say that. It, this game has made me say so many things I did not want to say today. Okay, that's lovely. Well, I think we can go back to the Cone's junkyard now that we scared him away with a flaming Cone rocket. Shot straight from the butt observatory. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and rip your head off now. <laughs> Alright, finally I can take your head. What the hell? It's not coming off. Detachable my ass. I need to get it off somehow. Um... Maybe let's use the serrated spoon attachment for the Krush army knife. That, that'll that work. Finally, my dreams are coming true. I get to sever a head with a serrated spoon. What? A few hours later. Also, what is that artwork? Oh my god. What the hell? Wow. That only took me eight hours to cut through with the Krush army spoon. I was estimating at least ten. Take that, Swiss Army knife. 
Yep, I, I don't feel good about what we accomplished there, but we did, in fact, accomplish it. That being said, that's all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you everybody so much for joining me on another exciting look into the world of Paradigm. A lot of, a lot of laughs today. Uh, there was a, it started off a little slow listening to the radio, but boy, did it, uh, did our patience pay off today. <laughs> Not for the cone, but it did for Paradigm. So, that being said, if you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.